Um, to the last the test and review of the Tabrak and Reef Top 10 from PPD Performance, Reef Top 10 from Canyon Off Road. Make sure you go out and check out their gear, a lot more than just this on their offer. Shortly I'll just go into a brief little video that I've recorded on screen and then come back to voiceover. Welcome everyone, my name is Ben from WA Fishing and Forward Driving Adventures. Uh, if you haven't seen me at any of the, our events or my face on some of the other videos, particularly from my last ones of the self-install of the uh, PPD Osru um, Hub Rack and the Canyon Off-Road Two Burst and Rooftop Tent self-install videos, this is me. Uh, I just wanted to introduce you and welcome any new members or anyone that's popped up on our Facebook group or in the YouTube channel. Um, consider liking and subscribing. We try and put out as much content as we can, uh, particularly of product reviews, not just that, but of events we go to, places we visit, um, try and take you along for the ride and show you things, as well as delivering tips and different uh, information, but it's all there on the channel. We've got a really exciting couple of months coming up with events that are planned. Uh, can't wait to do a lot of that. We're also going to be doing some really exciting collaboration work with a guy that runs another channel called The Mighty Jimny. I'll put his uh, description to his channel, uh, sorry, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Um, I'm really excited about doing some collaboration work with him. Um, we have some really fun stuff planned, so I'm really looking forward to that. So consider uh, liking and subscribing so that you don't miss any of those new stuff that when it comes up. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is go straight into uh, the tent portion of this. Uh, we'll finish talking from the outside because there is a lot of background noise, so I apologise if it's difficult to hear me. I do try and speak up so the camera hears the audio properly, um, but I'll switch to voiceover mode and take the cameras around the tub rack and inside the rooftop tent and talk you through the rest of the video. I'll also talk you through where I've set it up previously at a separate location. Um, where you could actually see how long it takes to do it. That was actually the first time I actually set it up properly, so it gives you an idea of if that's the first time you're setting it up with no uh, understanding of how it's done. Uh, this time and the subsequent times I've done it, it's been much faster, so it gives you a bit of an idea. Anyway, so that's enough for me for the moment. I'll switch over to voiceover mode and let's take the cameras through and actually get in and have a look at everything that's in there um, and the rest of the commentary and information I'm going to provide will be whilst I take you through the tent and the tub. So I want to just say thank you and welcome um, and that's about it really. So I'll finish talking here and the next moment you'll hear me, you'll be in voiceover mode. But I do apologise once again if the audio wasn't as good because of the outside stuff but I really felt it was nice to be able to introduce myself and welcome people along. Uh, so we'll get stuck into it from here and uh, I'm going to press stop. I just following on from that uh, intro guys, uh, this is the setup that uh, or uh, unpacking and opening up the tent to a separate location as I mentioned in the intro. Um, now this is the first time I actually even set this tent up for like at all. Uh, so this is a very rookie uh, um, attempt this occasion. Uh, I got them much better as time went on. Uh, one thing I will note that I uh, when you open and close your tent, always uh, extend that ladder out to its fullest. Gives you better leverage when opening and closing it because there is a stage, I think later in the video, where it partially close it and then um, partially close the uh, ladder, sorry. And then I try and uh, uh, close the tent, which I do, but it's much easier to do when you're using the full ladder to do so. So um, it's I just wanted to make that mention. Now, uh, this is uh, what I would call stage one when you open it all up, sorry, when you open the tent up and you just want to get in and you're not worried about opening up the windows for the airflow and that sort of stuff. Uh, when I went away on my four driving trip, I pretty much kept it at that state, but I want to show you how it looks when it sets up properly and also give you an idea of the time length that it would take to set it up. Um, 
if you want to, to open it up to its maximum. And being this is being my first time, you can imagine that uh, I, I have gotten faster and better with it. Uh, these little metal poles, they come inside. That's what I was doing inside there for a moment in the footage. Um, there's a bag full of those poles that they go in pre-drilled holes that are on, on an angle and then they bend up and going into ringlets for the, uh, for the windows to be opened. And all the windows are toggled down, which is, is a good feature. There's nothing worse than having flapping portions that uh, may flap around when it's windy conditions and so forth, uh, that sort of noise you don't want. And you can tell when the windows are opened uh, using these metal poles that go in and um, you can see the tautness in the actual fabric itself. Um, so you can, you can tell that it's not going to blow around and make a lot of wind noise. Um, if you're trying to sleep, you still want airflow. So that's a good quality um, feature and shows uh, the type of product that Canyon is trying to produce here. Now, with this one, um, I'm re-recording the audio because uh, I've added some extra footage in because I have since been weighed. I've come across uh, an issue that I had made with the, the tent that I didn't include, and uh, I wanted to make sure everyone uh, knew about it because it's an important feature, and Canyon pride themselves on um, having a top quality tent, including these little pieces of these little gems that make your tent that much better. So this is just uh, the drone views, having a look at the top. This is where you get to see those skylights that uh, I think that are a fantastic and a unique aspect of the, the, um, the rooftop tent from Canyon. Um, at the moment, I think I'm just opening up those side windows. Yeah, so that's it all opened up. You can see how tight or taut the uh, fabric is. It was actually kind of breezy on that day. You can tell the drone's having struggles staying up. Um, and it didn't make any noise when it's all tightened up and has straps there for on the three uh, around the poles that hold the main structure together. You can strap the main portion down to tighten it down as well. So this is just packing it away. Um, you can undo uh, the front and then you take all the poles out and you toggle everything down and then you just basically collapse itself. Now, I just want to make a note here because later in the video I'm going to point out a particular feature they included to make when you collapse it, um, when you collapse your tent, you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing here where you collapse most of the pole and then turn it over. Um, but to avoid this where you've got a lot of stuff that you've got to pack inside, they actually include a feature that helps prevent this and uh, I didn't know about it until afterwards. Same with this cover, there was another feature with that that um, I didn't know at first and uh, have come across and now adding it in because uh, it's another thing that they pride themselves on, on looking at uh, attention to detail and I really like that. So uh, I wanted to do the audio all over again to make sure that we're covering every aspect of the tent and uh, the features and pointing out um, what, what positives are there um, because if you don't know they're there then it's, you know, you're missing something out of it. So, um, as you can see, even with the, this, this, uh, this drone is at normal speed, so you can sort of tell that it doesn't take long to pack this stuff up when I was out field, uh, when, sorry, when I was out testing it. Uh, sorry, now this is where you can see the stuff's poking out to the side. Uh, that's something we will rectify when I, um, later in the video, when I show you our feature they include that um, I didn't utilize on this occasion. So that is avoided uh, altogether. So that's a huge thing that I missed and that's part of the reason why we're doing this again. So um, this is at slow speed. You have these straps here that you can use uh, once you've got everything all in order to tie, like to tighten the um, tent down onto itself and they're on both sides uh, of the front there and the, the ladder like it is, uh, is in that position and it has a Velcro strap that straps around it so that the, 
layer itself doesn't move. The Velcro in this picture hasn't been done up, but you do the Velcro around those main steps and it stays where it is. Uh, so that's me doing the other side. So here we're looking at the features inside the tent. So this is what we're really looking at. So you can see the breeze already in this picture, um, blowing that top window up and down, um, even with the wind, and it was windy on this day where I had it, um, even that sort of breeze, because of the tautness that you get from the poles and the stretch from that, um, that doesn't create that sort of noise that you would normally get from a flappy tent. Um, and it comes down to build quality. So we're now we're looking inside the actual tent itself and you can see the construction. Um, so the back looks exactly like the, the front, like the same setup is from one end to the other. Both sides are exactly the same with the uh, canvas, then the fly screen, then the window. Um, and then the two skylights and then you've got your metal frame. Here's the where I'm mentioning about the mattress. You can see the Velcro here on a, a video a bit later. I have another angle where you see the Velcro that holds that down onto the base of the actual tent, rooftop tent itself. Um, that'll come up a bit later. Uh, but I, this is where I get in and I I apologise for my fat tummy in this one. I was not aware that it was sticking out, so I apologise. This is me just showing you how long it is. I'm about 172 centimetres. I stretch my hands out I to try and touch the very top, and you can see my feet don't reach the very bottom either, so big enough for most uh, people. I don't know, uh, you'd be six foot and you'd still fit, fit in that without any issues. Uh, so this is just demonstrating the skylight feature, one of the ones that sort of I say would set this thing apart. Uh, one of the things I say that set this thing apart, um, the ability to one, have that uh, light. Um, and here is me noting the structure with the three metal, um, when you open it, the three metal uh, parts that basically um, hold it together and the nylon strapping that goes from the base through each of those poles down to the other side of the base so it keeps everything in shape and those are sturdy um, and when you open it that locks into position I actually get a view uh, I'll show you a little view of the actual metal section where they attach to so inside you've got a bag with all the little poles in it you also get uh, these two little baggies that can be attached um, to the outside. Uh, these poles I'll show you, see so these, these uh, gaps in your tent uh, where you open it up, I'll show you around here. You open up the gap and you'll see there's a little pre-drilled hole and your poles go in on an angle. It even has a little, um, little angle there to show you so you know the angle is correct when you bend it up because of the way it's done um, and you thread it into the, the uh, eyelet. Um, now you can put these baggies on the outside uh, if you don't have your cover there. I like the idea of the baggies on the outside because I put my shoes in there when I get inside and not carry the dirt in and out. Uh, you actually see me putting my shoes in here I think so I don't carry old crap inside. So I like the idea of that. Um, so if you take your tent liner off that section you can utilize that feature but you know it's up to you anyway so this is uh you get two pockets either side so you can stick any like your your phone or bits and pieces in there just be aware take them out when before you collapse your tent don't do that or you leave them in uh that's just showing you that you've got the canvas then the fly screen then the window that you can open up um and then there's the other baggies on the other side that there is um, the, vel uh, the the patch uh, that velcros down to hold everything in place. That's just pointing out the other skylight. So you've got two skylights you can open up. Um, one for the light and two if you wanted to sleep looking at the stars. Uh, if you like that, uh, it's a fantastic feature to have. I thought it was fantastic uh, to be able to see some stars. Well, I did close it before I go to sleep, mostly just because I didn't want to wake up too early. Um, but it was nice just to lay down and look at the stars in when I was camping. Uh, so that's fly screen directly above it, and then there's the uh, waterproof cover over the top of that. So 
Um, it's really well done. I'm laying in the middle here and I'm stretching my arms from one side to the other and I just reach and I use actually use those poles to pull my entire weight up. Here's me getting up the mattress. I'm showing you the thickness of the mattress. I'm squeezing it as hard as I can, testing the floor of the mat of the of the uh, tent. This is where I show you. Now that's the build structure of the metal poles and how it's attached to it. Nice construction, really well done, designed and quality materials. I can tell this. Yeah, you know, look, I'm, I give it a good old shake while I'm in here. I rock about all over the joint while I'm in here. Uh, most The only movement that really happens is my um, suspension from me moving around in there. Uh, and both me and my wife fit in this tent. Uh, it's a two person, so me and my wife fit in here just fine. We're both in there and testing it out um, for comfort for two people. And it was just nice. Uh, so on on that, I just, uh, before I switch to the next one, we just want to have a quick look at some of the other, just so you can view. Uh, I think this is where I show you the um, Velcro for the bottom um, and the last of the couple of things that are inside. So I'd have to say them for the, yeah, this, uh, that's that Velcro. And there's the Velcro at the bottom that attaches um, to the nylon strapping that goes all the way around the app both sides of the tent that attach to all three of the metal poles for that um, build quality and structure to hold everything together um, to keep everything firm and sturdy uh, so this is me just laying down and, and uh, enjoying it you've got the two air inlets either side um, so if everything's zipped up you're still getting air coming airflow coming in but it's all fly screened up so you're not getting insects inside either so that's just opening up the other skylight to show you how much light you can let in. Um, you know, both open, none open. So that's the nylon strapping I was talking about that goes all the way across right down to the bottom. So it connects both sides with each other and connects all the poles together. And those poles hold very nicely. Now the ladder, uh, make sure you read the information in red. It's hard to see in this video, but it's basically around uh, weights and so forth uh, and what not to do. The yellow bit's about not sticking your fingers between it while you try and close it and to use both latches. You see here I'm pointing at both black latches. When you are doing your ladder up you always push those both latches and you start at the top and you go um, towards the bottom. And this is where I mentioned I did it wrong as in you normally have your ladder at full extension before you close it but because I was demoing uh, the fact that you use your ladder uh, that way that's why I had it um, done like this. Now this is the important thing that I missed in my first video that I want to make uh, clear here and I've slowed this down this is at normal speed. They include this fantastic feature that I was not aware of and I'm glad that they um, came in and brought this to my attention so I can add this in for everybody else. They have these little elastic um, straps and these toggles, there's four toggles that you can see that I'm attaching the elastic straps to. And so when you finish uh, using your tent and you go to pack it away, um, like these will all be attached to one side and you just leave them there. And then when you go to pack it away, you join the toggles uh, to the elastic strap from one side to the other. So you can see there I'm pointing at that one, then I'll connect the next one. Uh, so there's four of them that you connect together. And the reason they did this, and, um, and one of the things that I like about it is their attention to detail and looking at ways of improving the tents, is that when you collapse your tent as a result of those, it helps pull all the material inwards as you collapse your tent to avoid that, that uh, issue where you're having to then uh, push everything back inside your the tent um, frame area and have to you know lift it up and poke things back in so i go outside and i will show you momentarily you can actually see where it pulls um that's just so you can see all four of the strappings yeah here you can actually see it pulling the tent inwards uh already so i toggle that down so there are all the four points that are toggled um, and pulled inwards. So now that I collapse the tent, 
Once again, extend your full turn out, uh, ladder out, and then you collapse it over. Uh, you can tell the, the immediate difference between what's left out this time in comparison to when you saw that earlier video, how much was left poking out was significantly different, whereas that was pretty much nothing. Um, the only bit that's left out is the stuff at the very end, which isn't that hard just to poke that bit back in. Um, but the side stuff, because of those little latches, are fantastic. So it was really important that that be brought to everyone's attention. I add that into the video because it is um, all about what sets these tents apart and the different features with them. And this is something I thought was a fantastic addition uh, to their tent. And uh, credit to their looking at um, trying to make their tents quality and improve any aspects that they feel that uh, uh, makes our job as campers easier and, and more enjoyable when you don't have to spend as much time unpacking and packing things away. Uh, less time you spend doing that, more time you spend having fun. And the other really, really important thing that I missed was um, the cover. Uh, I didn't actually, I, have, I saw this zipper that was attached to the cover and I was not aware that it um, had an actual purpose to it. Uh, I, well, I couldn't figure it out at first. Um, and thankfully, uh, Canyon got back to me and uh, we were able to the, the advise that this is um, specifically designed to go around the outside uh, of the frame of the tent. And I'll show you how you thread it on um, so that it then becomes uh, completely sealed and that way no dust and rain and crap gets inside the tent area when you're off-roading and that's something they pride themselves on of their quality and stuff so you thread uh, the main part of the cover through this one side um, takes me a little bit to get it through at first because the um, bits here uh, I didn't cut because I wanted to have the option to change it if I wanted to open it at a different angle, so I didn't move those, but anyway. So once that side's on, you can leave it like that if you want when you take the cover off to use your tent and poke it inside your tub, or you can take it off altogether and, and feed it back on later, it's not a big deal. This, though, you leave on all the time because it's just a pain in the bum to thread on um, all the way around three sides. Uh, so this is the bit that's got the zipper on it. You can see the zipper down the bottom. So you basically just have to thread it through. There's a little, uh, the hole or all around the outside. Um, and it's clearly seen that you can uh, thread it through. I'm pointing at it there. And there's that slight gap. You can see that I thread that through and you just got to work it all the way around. Uh, see, I put it through the, each, each corner allows you the opportunity just to turn it back through. So there, that's from a different angle. You can see that I just thread it through the little gap that's provided. And then I just work it around the outside. So you cover all three sides with that uh, zipper uh, portion. And that stays there or there all the time, um, regardless. And then when you take your tent cover off, all you do is unzip it and then the tent cover that's now hanging off to the side hangs off to the side or you can pull it off and pack it away or you can leave it there but tuck it in underneath your tub rack so it's up to you uh, so it's just a different angle of me fiddling around trying to get it to the back and then i uh, throw the cover over the top and then i will show you um, zipping it up so this is just me getting it up over the top it's a bit dirty from my previous trip i hadn't washed the red dust away so this is really good that um, i now know about this so it stops any dust getting into my tent um, and also when you're doing the zip bearing aspect of it um, make sure because this is where you start the you join your zip there and you go around you zip everything in and it tucks everything away so nothing should be hanging out whatsoever just be careful as you zip um, just don't get any fabric stuck in the zip as you zip around and force it. If you feel it getting stuck, just go back and make sure there's no fabric stuck in as you're zipping around. So that's me zippering it all the way around that three sides. 
and once it's zipped down there is no dust and nothing going to get through and those straps that I throw over the top essentially all they're there to do is to um, help hold that system in place um, and then you velcro I've just zipped it up now you velcro that tight on both ends and there's no way you're going to get anything stuck in there so it doesn't matter if you're the last car in the convoy like I was and get covered in dust it's not going to get inside your tent, all right? And um, then you just tighten these up just to keep everything down. That won't blow up with air because it's all zipped down. Uh, so it's a very important feature that I missed and I really wanted to make sure everyone knew that that's there. And when you go to set yours up, make sure you do that as well. So that's me just saying it's not going to go up. So just a couple of photos before we finish off of some of my features that I really like. The skylight, obviously big hit um, the zipper thing big hit the pulley thing big hit love it love the fact that these windows open up and you can get so much airflow uh, like the fact that you can toggle everything and roll bits and pieces up um, you have a lot of options you get a lot of uh, there's no flappy bits you can tighten things down that's it full set up uh, tested it off road and slept in it for a couple of nights and I don't usually sleep that well off off road and I've, I've tried so many different tents, swags, air mattresses and this uh, field testing down Yiga up for a couple of nights so the best sleeps ever and uh, although I stayed at this stage where I didn't bother putting anything out mostly because it was just the weather was not conducive to it um, look at that surviving uh, that red dust and stuff uh, without the zipper there so now knowing that's not going to be a problem it's even better so um, it's good to be able to know that and i tested it again so this is a big shout out to canyon off-road fantastic product i, I thoroughly recommend them uh, thoroughly recommend their tent as far as what i've seen and tested out um, so make sure you go check out ppd performance and um and all their gear because they uh, and and Canyon Off-Road for their stuff. So check that stuff out guys because it is really good quality stuff. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. From